Hi there. Now we're being asked to find and simplify the first three terms in the expansion of 2 plus 5x to the power 6 in ascending powers of x. Now to do this you should be familiar with the binomial expansion formula. a plus b to the power n is identical to nc0 a to the power n b to the power 0 plus nc1 a to the power n minus 1 b to the power 1 and so on. And if you're unsure of this or even what this notation ncr as we often call it is then do check out the videos uh, that I've got on this. So on the assumption then that you're familiar with this formula here, all we have to do then is say that this is identical to, and what I'm taking here is a is the 2, b is the 5x, and n is 6. So we end up with 6c0 for the nc0, then it's a to the power n, so it's going to be 2 to the power of n which is 6 okay 2 to the power 6 and then it's multiplied by b to the power 0 b was the 5x so we've got all of 5x to the power 0 for this next term the second term it's going to be plus and then we have nc1 so it's going to be 6c1 multiplied with a to the power n minus 1 so we drop the power on the 2 from 6 now to 5 so it's 2 to the power 5 in fact it would be a good idea to just put that in brackets I feel okay 2 to the power 5 and then we start to increase the power on the 5x so it's 5x now all to the power 1 so that's our second term we do the third term now it's going to be 6c2 and then we take our a and reduce it to by one power so it's going to be 2 to the power 4 and then increase the power on the 5x so it was 5x to the power 1 just a moment ago it's now 5x to the power 2 so that's our first three terms don't forget really though to put plus and so on because there are other terms even though we're being asked to take the first three terms so what's this identical to well, 6c0, anything c0 is always 1. You can check it out on your calculator if you like. 2 to the power 6, well that's going to be 64. 5x to the power 0, anything to the power 0 is 1. So you've just got 64 here for the first term. When it comes to 6c1, anything c1 is always the value that you've got here, n. So in this example, it's going to be 6. 2 to the power 5 is 32. And then you're going to multiply it with 5x. So you've got 6 times 32 times the 5 there. That's going to give you 960. So your second term is 960x. As for this third term, the last term that we need to find, 6c2, you're going to need to use your calculator for that most probably. And you should find it comes to 15. So you've got 15 here times 2 to the power 4, which is 16, times 5 squared. Be careful on that one. That's 5 squared, 25. Okay? So 6c2, 15, times 16, times 25. You should find you get 6,000. So you're going to get 6,000, and then you're going to have x squared. So don't forget to write plus and so on as well. Okay, so there's our first three terms in the expansion. 2 plus 5x to the power 6.